Well, we all thought the case dubbed Wagatha Christie was finally over after Rebecca Vardy lost her libel case against Colleen Rooney in a London High Court. Uh, but the wife of Leicester City striker Jamie Vardy has now spoken out in a tell-all UK TV interview. Here's Sally with more. Yes, in an explosive interview, Rebecca Vardy has maintained she didn't do it, breaking down in tears, saying she feels let down by the legal system. It's the interview we've all been waiting for. I didn't do it. I didn't do it when she first put it out there. I didn't do it, you know, all the way through this process. I didn't do it yesterday and I still sit here today and still didn't do it. Rebecca Vardy finally telling her side of a scandal that dominated British tabloids and shocked the world. Felt like I was on trial. It all began when the wife of former English footballer Wayne Rooney, Colleen Rooney, noticed details of her private life were being leaked to the media. She orchestrated a sting, posting three fake stories to her social accounts. But they could only be seen by one person, Rebecca Vardy. They all ended up in the UK paper The Sun. In 2019, Colleen took to Twitter accusing Vardy of being the culprit to her two million followers. A two-year media spat followed. I had severe anxiety attacks, so I felt like I couldn't go out without people just looking at me. The story spiralled so out of control it ended up in London's High Court, with Vardy filing a defamation case against Rooney, airing all sorts of celebrity dirty laundry. So many people have been brought into it, it's just been... It's not been nice for anyone involved. I feel very sorry for Peter Andre that he got dragged into it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen years this has been going on, and I kept quiet, I didn't say anything. OK, yes. Now she's gone to court and admitted that the story was made up. More than $5.2 million in legal fees later... We're hearing from the Press Association that Rebecca Vardy has lost that High Court uh, libel case. The judge ultimately ruled in favour of Colleen, saying her post was substantially true and that Vardy knew of, condoned and was actively engaged in leaks by her former agent. Hopefully now there can be a line and people can just get on with their lives. But Rebecca Vardy's not done just yet. I think we had a judge that didn't understand the case and didn't look at everything. It feels like the judge just read what was written in the in the media and took on their um, narrative bias. During the trial, it was brought up that she had previously provided stories to the press. First of all, I have never given stories to the press. I've never leaked stories on anyone. There's absolutely, without any shadow of a doubt, I never leaked any stories on Colleen Rooney. And on that Peter Andre story... I didn't leak that. Um, that was a story that I put my name to and it was something that I deeply regret and I'm deeply ashamed of. Despite the feud making headlines for more than two years, Vardy says... I hold no malice towards her or ill feeling or anything like that. Is there any part of you that regrets this whole process? I wish you'd just picked up the phone and just had that conversation. I wish we hadn't have had to go through the process of lawyers, courts, etc. But what's done is done and, you know, it's time to move on.